All right, we're back. I'm sorry if you hear that in the background. That's the dog barking. Not barking, but he's doing something. Um, I think I'm going to do... Not barking, but like wagging like his lips. Just went outside. I'm gonna do some side missions. Is there any place that I can do Slavers this? don't even bother with no French now. Can you not? Damn it. Why can't you ever just pop in front of me? Faster. You know? Dog, I put water in your room. You can go over there. You deserve a rest. Cool. cool. You're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. <sighs> All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Thank you. And Sid, it's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. Exactly, brother. Come on. Run like the wind. All right, let's get it. Trying to get into the carriage. Get him. Gotcha. Who are you? A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, he wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. So you just lost your will to live. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom, safety, the life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you... You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. 
What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. I am the thunder. This one. Stay down. There we go. This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. Be enough to keep the infirmary stock for a while. Hopefully, this will put Rodriguez's mind at ease. Rodriguez. Oh, you wanted. I was about to say. Not long after you left, if I just waited a little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself, or maybe I wouldn't. I keep making the wrong decisions. That's the point of life, homie. Got home safely. You made exactly the right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole and you after them, woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. With all due respect, we curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. We all know how much bravery that takes. Cole. I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Thank you for your faith in me. I'm not sure I deserve it. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play, and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In time. This is a long side mission.
wasn't expecting you back, so. All yours. All done. Thank you, Desiree. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Only the usual. Oh, yes. This is it. And more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is, unless I... You'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. Sorry. I'm still terrified. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death. And even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb. Knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. What do you think that is? Conviction? They're willing to die? They're willing to fight. To give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy. But neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. Thank you. A hill to die on? Okay. Good girl. Our destination lies over that dune beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Hey, man. You ain't gonna put up my bare shoe moments like that. It's out of pocket. That's my bet. 
I was uh, I had, I mouthwashed earlier, ah, so I. There spit. she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know this heat has given me quite a thirst? A quick drink before we press on. I love this guy. Oh, cutscene. Cutscene. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stonehair. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Hey yo. Yo, my sword looks so sick, dude. If you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. And ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Theon has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. I was about to say, I'm not playing as her, am I? Watch, they tell us, but all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skim, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a 
bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Just had to say something, didn't you, buddy? Uncle? Sorry. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in Camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Friend. to lose friend stay back uncle gladly brother just She wasn't hard. With all due respect. Your trouble. Word of advice, miss, that soup could do with a touch more salt. Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. So he's suffering, but I don't know what he's suffering from. That's the issue that I'm walking into. Damn, he fell, Joshua?
What is it now? It is nothing. Let's go. Nah, bro. You're lying. Even your uncle knows. Your uncle's not stupid, alright? No, I mean, he was that, he was stupid when he, you know, said that shit out loud. Damn. Well, we didn't know where to find Kupka before. We do now. The Royalists said it themselves. Their guest is in the fag. Are you serious? Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the fag. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Delamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Alright. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Anything I can interest you in? Not really. Go with Gilbert. Lighting for Gilbert's sake. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man. We represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No, I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. All right, let's talk to Stallholder. What do you want? Come Much repeated. Damn. I bitch. Won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Well, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Won't find a finder smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's family. Mommy, I want to play with the crystal. How many times? Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. 
Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Ah, uh, uh, gotta go back. It sounds like we have our map. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Wait, incense! What wax candle? Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope yes. So. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hair? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Just look! Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think he trusts us. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. There we go. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. Thank God. To the lock of leisure, then. Leisure. To the lock of leisure. I'm not fucking with this. Is this the place? Who was Forge? The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young Sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you.
My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? I don't like this guy. Can we kill him? So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Like this one, willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want, always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good How am I supposed to do that? What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. She got an ego on them. It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. Oh, uh, how many minutes? Yeah, we're gonna. That's gonna be it for right now. Um, you know, guys, like, comment, subscribe, do all those good things. Um. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.